People often ask me, what's the best way to learn Power BI? What courses to take? What videos to watch? The truth is, there are so many great Power BI videos available in YouTube as well as in Microsoft Learning Portal. There are also so many good Power BI books that you can read. Therefore, it really depends on your personal preference. My personal preference when learning Power BI is to start my learning journey by searching for a topic that I need in either YouTube or in Google. Once I found the relevant articles or videos, I would then follow these five steps. Step one is to simply watch Power BI videos from front to back, be it from YouTube or from online courses. Resist the temptation to start practicing or doing something midway. Research shows that watching first will give your brain a better ability to absorb and retain the information later on. Now, if it is a web article, then I would read the article from front to back. Step two is to download the practice file if it is available for download. Rewatch the video, follow along, get hands-on. This is the time to practice. After you finish, close the file and save it as a new name. Step three is to turn off the video or close the article, open the original practice file, do it one more time, create the charts, bookmark, tooltips, whatever it is that you are learning. See if you can remember the steps without looking at the videos. If you can remember, it is okay to rewatch the video. But the goal is to be able to do it on your own without watching the video or without referencing the article. Step four, is to apply what you have learned in real life. Find an opportunity to apply your newly learned skills in your day-to-day -day life. If you are used to using Excel for analyzing data, next time someone is asking you to conduct an analysis, try using Power BI instead. If you recently learned how to create tool tips, drill through or bookmarks, try to infuse them in your next Power BI report. Step five, is to share your new knowledge with others. Yes, teaching someone will help you to get an even better understanding of a subject. Often in the process of sharing, your friends and colleagues will ask you questions and force you to think deeper, conduct more research, and as a result, gain more mastery in the subject. So those are the five steps that I follow to improve my Power BI skills. I sincerely hope that you find it useful to help you in your Power BI learning journey. Last but not least, remember this. We don't learn how to drive a car by reading a book on how to drive a car or by watching a video on how to drive a car. The only way to learn how to drive a car is by actually driving the car over and over again. The more we drive, the better we get. See you next time.